I'm going to show you how to make a stocking. A cute little... So you're going to dig through all your fabric and you find something that coordinates. You need two kinds of fabric. One for the main body of the stocking and one for the cuff and the heel and the toe. And then a plain fabric for your lining and then a plain fabric to embroider a name on. And you need trims. So whatever you have, dig it out. Anything will work. You're going to need a pattern for your stocking. You can get a stocking shape that you like and trace it and make it about a half inch bigger all the way around for a seam allowance. Um, or if you just are really crazy and creative, you can draw your own. But Alright, we're going to pin our fabric to our pattern. Coordinating fabric, we're going to cut out our toe and heel pieces and our cuff. Pin that bad boy in place. Cuff. And now we're going to do our toe pieces. You can use any little scrap. For the toe pieces, you don't need two layers, just one. Okay, we've got all of our pieces ready to start. We've got you want to get some heat bond or wonder under or something that is on the side of your fabric. You're going to cut it just a little smaller than your toe or heel piece. My okay. handy dandy assistant Kim is going to show you how to iron it on. Okay, first show us. Uh, oh, yeah. Shiny side, dull side, shiny side down on wrong side of fabric. See? Peel, and there's a sheen on there. Okay, on my machine I use a blanket stitch, and I just want to find out where your needle's going to fall. You just want your needle to fall right on the outside edge of where your fabric is for the left side there. Okay, you can see the blanket stitch just created a cute little edge on the stocking toe and heel. And remember, this is just with the, the front piece, not both sides. We're going to stitch the cuff together <laughs> at the bottom edge with just a straight stitch. With just a half inch seam. Fold it right side out. Okay, for this stocking we're going to add a couple of cute trims that I've chosen to go with all the fabrics. Whatever trim you use, you can attach it just to the front of it, but this one happens to have a binding. So we're going to attach it like this. All right, now we're just going to stitch that on there using a straight stitch. Okay, and then we want to put this rickrack on there as well. Just going to catch the tip of the little ruffle. We're going to go along the top and along the bottom so it doesn't curl. trim attached to our cuff. So now we want to put on our little nameplate and that's where we're going to embroider a name. Normally you would want to go ahead and embroider it first but this is a special giveaway and we might put your name on it. So we're going to attach it and we're going to use the heat bond once again. My assistant Kim Attach this with the heat bond onto the front. This, so now we're going to put the cute blanket stitch around the edge. The end result. I really can't see it. All right. And then turn the corner like so, ish. Ooh. 
If you don't have a sewing machine, you can do any kind of just a quick looping stitch by hand. It doesn't have to look fancy. It's supposed to look cute. Okay. Just going to stitch this. Uh, we're just going to do a uh, stitch kind of close to the edge. This isn't your seam. We're just basting this to the front of the stocking. So you want it to be less than your regular seam so the stitches don't show later. Lovely for wing. Mm -hmm. Alright, with right sides together we're going to put the back piece on to the stocking. Okay, we're going to stitch with a half inch seam all the way around but not the top. Okay, leave okay. the top raw. We've stitched all the way around our stocking. We didn't stitch the top. We need to leave that open for turning. We have inner curves and outer curves. Inner curves need to be clipped with little triangles about every inch. Outer curves just get clipped straight in and that just allows them to bend. Now we're ready to turn it. Ta -da! Ta -da! Oh, cuteness. Adorable. Okay, so this is our stocking and we are almost done, but we are not finished completely. Nice edges. We've got this is our tab piece for hanging it. So we're going to fold it with the wrong sides together in half and iron it. And then pull down halfway. And another time. Iron that crease. Okay, so now we, you've kind we've of ironed it and we folded it in so we have it like this. And we're gonna just straight stitch right down the edge, close to the edge. Okay, this is our lining where we've got a front and a back piece. And we're going to sew them together with right sides together, not the top, just the sides, just like we did on the stocking. This one's right side out, just like normal. This one we just sewed. We're not going to turn it. We've done our clipping. We're going to open it up like this. And we're going to shove this stocking down inside of it. That makes right sides together. You with me? Yep. You're going to tuck your folded end. you got your raw edges right here. Tuck your folded end in here. And just line it up right on that seam line. And then bring this right up over it, matching your seam lines. And find a pin that won't bend. Stick it in there. Okay, that's where it's going. Now we're going to pin it in the back of the stocking. We're going to leave a little space open for turning. Now line up your seam here. If you have to push that in a little bit, it's okay. Just want your seams to be lined up. I'm going to leave it open right here. So I'm going to stitch around the top edge with a half inch seam, but I'm not going to sew there because I have to turn it. We're going to now reach through here and we're going to push that stocking through, turning it in right side out. Now stuff the lining down into your stocking. We're going to iron the top edge so that it's nice and neat and then we're going to stitch close right, to the top. The last thing we need to do is stitch real close to the edge. And that just seals up that hole and gives it a nice neat finish at the top. Okay. Now just clip all your threads off. You got a nice little hanger to put it on something. You got a nice lining, no hole for. Um, so this is what you get. And if you want somebody's name on here, yours or maybe your child's name, you want to win this as a gift, you can give away to somebody or keep then you need to pop over to Kim's blog because she is going to give this away. Because this is her fabric. I made it. It's her fabric. Yeah.